Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this very simple wedding menu in Word. If you do want to download this wedding menu then please check out the link below. So I've just got a default A4 page open. If you do want to change the size of your page go to layout, size, click on the drop down and you can choose an alternative size to your menu. If not we're going to go ahead and grab some graphics. We're going to simply go online and we're going to come to this website called Pixabay, just pixabay.com. You can use all the images on here for free. In the search bar at the top here I'm just going to type in foliage and on the drop down up here I'm going to select illustrations and you can simply scroll down here and select any image you like. Now it's quite important that if you want to do this on a white background then you select an image with either these grey and white checkerboard backgrounds or with a white background. So I came to this one here, just click on it and then simply go to download. I chose this size here and click download. All you then have to do is go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down, picture from file. Now go down to your downloads and it'll be in your downloads. I've actually put it in a separate file. So if I just scroll down, you can see it's in this file here. Just click on it and click insert. Now whenever you insert an image into Word, you won't actually be able to move it or rotate it. So make sure you've selected it, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Now you can move it, resize it and rotate it using this little circle. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste a number of these. We're going to need eight altogether, but we can produce four and then select them all and then reproduce them. So if I just put this at the top here, the easiest way to do this is to select it and hold your Alt or Option key down. Just click and drag and then you can just simply copy and paste. Now they're both selected so copy and paste them again and now we've got four. Because there's not enough room on the page I'm just going to resize some of these and then we can produce some more. There we go. Select these two. Select them together by holding down your Command or Control key and then the Alt key to click and drag and then two more. Perfect. Now all we need to do is to simply rotate these to suit up the look that we want and then to pop them in the corners and then we can do exactly the same at the bottom. Perfect, so once you've got all of those in place we can insert the text. So if you want to you can use the cursor and simply align everything to the centre. What you will find is that once you hit the return key everything moves. So prevent that from happening we're going to select everything and turn it into a group. So if you select one of the flowers go to picture format, go to selection pane and there's a list here of all of the pictures you've inserted. So all we have to do is click on the top one, hold down the shift key, click on the bottom one. You can see now they're all selected. Go up to group and select group and now all of this is one group. So now if I just have my cursor selected, you can see my cursor is flashing here. If I press the return key, keep going and then just move the whole lot back up again to where you want it and click again your cursor will be around about here. Now if we want the menu up here we're going to have to press the delete key and move it up and then press this icon here that says center, that's in the home tab, press center and then we can start to type. So now I'm just going to go up and select a different font size and a different font for this. I'm going to select Bellania. If you want any of these fonts I'll leave a link below to a video where you can add fonts to Word and I'm just going to change this one to sentence case, looks a lot better. So my menu is a little bit too far down the page, I want to move it up a bit so I'm going to pop my cursor back up here, I'm just going to keep clicking until my cursor returns to here. Press the backspace or the delete key a few times and we'll move that up and then just click below menu and then go back up to the center text icon there 
and then we can begin to put in all of our additional text. Now I'm going to copy and paste all of this in. I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me type everything in, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Okay, so I've copied and pasted everything in, and as you can see, we've now got the problem where we've nudged over to a second page. So what we need to do is adjust our margins. So if you go over to the left-hand side here, you'll see there's a ruler. If you can't see the ruler, go to view, and just check ruler and then hover between the white and gray section you see your cursor will change click and just drag down and it will decrease the size of your margin giving you some extra space on the page for your text do the same with the top that just gives you a little bit more room to play with then I'm just going to move these flowers down so I'm going to select them and then I'm just going to press my that's only selected one it should select the whole group just click on the flowers, then use your arrow keys just to move them down to exactly where you want them. So the text here, if I select on this text here and go to the Home tab, this is a font called Abadi MT and the font size is 26 and the text itself is exactly the same but the font size is 22. If you want to change any of it, obviously just, just click and drag across the text and then you can simply go up and change. It will change all of the text. You can change the font without changing the font size, but if you change the font size, it will change everything, including the little titles. So once you're finished, you're probably going to want to save this as a PDF. You can save it as a Word document as normal, but if you want to save it as a PDF, go to File, Save As, then go down to this file format menu here, click on the drop down, and then simply go to PDF. I'm just going to save this out as a Word document and save it as Wedding Menu, and then don't forget to save it in the file you want it then just click save and that will all save for you. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.